what's up guys welcome back to the channel and another video so the past like two weeks or so the weather has been really gloomy really overcast really blue looking and i don't know about you but that is really not my cup of tea when it comes to going out and taking photos those are not the conditions that i want to see when i wake up and look out the window uh just not my style maybe maybe you're different but it's kind of put me off going out and taking photos uh kind of kills the mood a little bit um so what i thought i would do was try out some black and white because the conditions don't matter as much sort of when you're shooting black and white um so i thought i would try that out and what i've done is i have downloaded uh, or i have copied a uh, film simulation from fuji x weekly website i believe it's kodak triax and i've created that on the fuji and i thought i would try some black and white i am here at a little small town called castle rock and um, got some nice uh, got a nice beach got some nice sand dunes and stuff and i'm just gonna give it a go because i want to get out shooting and i don't want the weather to stop me so uh this is what we're trying i'm also using a tide optics subtle cine soft filter as well which should help me get some of that nice glow going on um yeah i'm gonna put on the action cam maybe two action cams and see what we can get hopefully it goes to plan Thank you. 
And that is pretty much where this little photo session ended. As I'm sure you all know, it gets dark extremely early these days. So yeah, that's that. And also my batteries run out on two of the cameras. <laughs> I'm not sure if any of you actually noticed, but I did film that video entirely by myself. Um, normally it is me and Christina and it makes it a little bit more easy to get more shots. Um, I can think a little bit more about the photos while Christina gets some shots. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit trickier. Um, I kind of had a couple of different ideas in my head. It kind of ended up being a bit of a mix of cinematic shots with the sort of POV angle. Um, so yeah, I kind of got caught in between making a POV video and sort of like one of our cinematic photo vlogs. But uh, yeah, anyway, ho hope you enjoyed it either way. Black and white photography in general has not really appealed to me that much, to be honest. Um, before, before the Halloween video in particular, um, I very rarely ever would have shot black and white. I might have changed the images to black and white in Lightroom the odd time if I just didn't like how it looked. But yeah, very rarely shot black and white. And definitely not straight out of camera or with film simulations like I did in this video. Um, but those photos that I took at Halloween, I don't know if you've seen that video. Um, I really liked how those photos turned out and I really enjoyed the black and white aspect of it. And that's what kind of put me in the mood to go out and shoot some black and white and also the weather. Like like I said, yeah, it, it's just, it currently doesn't look how I want my photos to look. So I like that the black and white allowed me to shoot and get photos that I like um, without having to worry about the color in the scene. And I really enjoyed shooting this time and I really like how the photos turned out. Um, shout out to Fuji X Weekly for having all those different film simulations. I know there's a lot of people on there that create those different film simulations and probably put quite a bit of time into it. Um, the Kodak Triax one that I used, um, I really liked the results with. I edited it slightly just to add a little bit more contrast, just to add a little bit more contrast in post. Um, it was a little bit flat, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. I would definitely recommend heading over to the Fuji X weekly site um, see if you can find some film sims that you like and try them out. My favourite photo from the session, uh, that's a tough one. I do like the one I have on screen here of the little wooden posts with the rope going along. Then we have the front part of the sand dunes and then just the cloudy sky. I don't know, there's just something about that almost sort of flat 2D look about photos I really like. If you've seen a lot of our photos, you'll, you'll probably know that that appeals to me quite a bit. So I like that one. I also like the one of the house with the little wooden path and the grass on each side. And it was very backlit and with the uh, cine soft filter that I had on, there was a crazy glow behind the house, which, yeah, I don't know. I, I really like how that turned out. But I actually like how most of them turned out, to be honest. Uh, it was just fun and I definitely will be shooting more black and white in future. As always, I would love to know your opinions. Which photo is your favorite? Or do you even like black and white photos at all, really? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but it is really raining out there. So much rain recently, which is quite annoying. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also really like the photo of that same house um, from the beach where I have um, like the very windswept looking beach. All the sand has clearly blown in one direction. And then we have the grass, uh, which is kind of slightly covering the house which I did like. It reminds me of like a movie scene or something or like the start of a movie. Um, I don't know. I just really like how that turned out. As we have done a few times recently, we did another community poll this week and it was just asking what brand of camera you guys use. I was just interested. Um, I was pretty sure I knew what the majority was going to say because of obviously the videos that we made. And of course that was correct. Um, Fujifilm with 76%. Obviously, a lot of you guys love your Fujifilm cameras. Sony with 8, Canon with 8, Nikon with 7, and other with 1. So, yeah, vast majority of you shooting with Fujifilm, um, which, like I said, we kind of expect it, which is cool. And some of you guys also dropped some comments on the poll, just giving your opinions on things and the cameras that you use and why you like them and stuff, which I appreciate. It's always nice to hear your opinions and thoughts and stuff. And yeah, whenever we do those polls, always feel free to comment on them. Try and get a little bit of a chat going on because I love seeing the opinions that people have that shoot, whether it's Fujifilm or other brands or what lenses they use and stuff. And yeah, it's just cool to hear. So thanks to everyone that voted and gave your opinions. 
I'm gonna wrap this one up here because as always I do tend to blabber a little bit too much at the end of these videos but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this one like I said we'd love to hear your opinions below on which photo was your favorite and also let us know if you've tried out any of the other film simulation recipes as always if you enjoyed this one make sure to give it a big thumbs up maybe consider subscribing uh, we really do appreciate it and as we always say take it easy don't be a stranger